Hey everybody, today on the mountain I want to share a little story with you and I'm going to sit here by my little companion that St. Francis, you know, he takes care of the animals. Um, and if he's not taking care of the animals, I've got Miguel sitting across from me over there and Miguel looks after everything as well. One of the things I just wanted to share with you is I wanted to, the quilt that I'm sharing this week. It's called Sentinels at Sunset and there's a beautiful story about this quilt. So my dad, uh, he came down with Alzheimer's and this is National Alzheimer's Month. And I ended up uh, making three quilts for the Ami Sims Alzheimer's Celebrity Auction over a period of three years. And this particular quilt, Sentinels at Sunset, was, uh, it went for a very nice price uh, at the auction and I was glad that I can contribute. But let's fast forward several years into the future. My dad dies in the year 2015 in August. And then in 2018, we had the spring wildfire that many of you watched and saw the devastation that came through. And that happened in July of 2018. In August of 2018, one month after the fire, I ended up going up to be a, a special speaker for the Colorado Quilt Council 40th a Jubilee celebration, celebrating 40 years as the Quilt Guild. Uh, for Colorado and it was a, a beautiful time. I walked in the door and I literally walked uh, just a few uh, seats down and a lady held this quilt up and I went, I mean, it was kind of like a shock because I'm seeing something that I haven't seen in a while. And of course I recognized it instantly and she called me over and because of the wildfire and things that I had gone on in my life, she just said, you know, um, I've been thinking about you and I think that this quilt needs to go back home and it needs to live with you. And it was extremely emotional. I mean, I was extremely grateful for this gesture. And so sure enough, the quilt came to be with me. Later that day, the Colorado Quilt Council bestowed an, a, a wonderful achievement award uh, on my career. I was blessed and I was leaving the next day to go to Ireland. But it was just an, an amazing experience. And I have to tell you the goodness of people that, I mean, I know that she paid a lot for the quilt, but it was really more about contributing to the cause of Alzheimer's. And if you are somebody that you know or is dealing with this in your world, we understand it's the long goodbye. And there's not much you can do except love the people, keep them comfortable, and do what you can and continue to support the research that goes on for Alzheimer's and keep the people that are the caretakers in your hearts and prayers because no doubt those are the people that really struggle. The people that are, their minds are kind of fading and going. They don't really, they don't know the struggle as much as the caretakers. So my heart goes out to you, wishing you all the best and God bless you all. And thanks for listening to my story today.